Hey everyone, this is Ryan Mentz, and in this video I want to talk about the lens coat lens cover I have here, which is by no means a new product, but it's a little bit expensive. It's around 100 bucks, and so it might be worth doing a review and see uh, if it's going to be worth it or not. And before I get started though, I just want to say thank you so much to all my new subscribers. And I'm over 200 right now, which is wild. You guys are crazy, uh, but it's very much appreciated. And so if you're not subscribing yet, please hit subscribe. And let's get started. So what is a lens cover? Well, it's basically a neoprene sleeve that's custom fitted for a number of lenses. And lens coat has been around for quite a while. So they've made quite the collection of these custom fitted uh, sleeves. And so whether you have an older lens or a brand new lens, they probably have one for it. This is a 20 year old lens and it's still in stock. And then uh, they also cover all the new lenses like uh, the Canon 400 and 600 uh, Mark III's. Um, the Sony 400-2.8 G Master, uh, the Nikon 500PF, they make lens covers for all those. So when you get the lens cover in, it does come in a few different pieces, and each piece is custom fit for a specific part of the lens, for the specific lens that you bought it for. And it's a little bit of a stretch to get on, I gotta admit, but that's good because it's a little bit harder to take off and uh, harder to shift around on you. And for this lens, it took about 10 minutes, uh, but this lens also requires I had to take out this foot here. Um, but it's uh, it's not too bad. You have to do it once, you know, in, you know, how many years that you're going to use your lens. If you notice with this lens here, not everything gets covered. Uh, there's this control ring here that doesn't get covered. Part of the focus control isn't going to get covered. And then they also have this plastic window here for all the, the controls for like stabilization and your focus limiter and stuff. Uh, that plastic window, I'll talk about a little bit more, but uh, otherwise this back piece too, it's not like the rest where it's just a sleeve. This actually has a sticky back to it. And the way it comes to you, it doesn't have these cutouts. That was, that was done by me. Um, so what they expect you to do is take a scissors and just, this is gonna be one piece and then lop it. And then this is gonna be another piece and then cut. And then this is another piece and cut. Whereas I took the time and I took an X-Acto knife and kind of measured things out and I made it more custom fit. And I did this partly because I had one of these lens covers before and this sticky back piece was kind of the weak link to it all. Um, it would peel up and I uh, did not like that at all. You kind of had to reapply it every time you wanted to use the lens. So it's not perfect and I wish uh, Lens Coat would custom fit this piece for you too. Um, I can understand why they can't have it all just like a sleeve wrapped around because uh, this lens foot or this tripod foot gets in the way. One thing that they did choose to cover though that's kind of a bummer is uh, there's custom buttons at the end of this lens that you can uh, program in the camera to do different things and you can't feel it through the fabric at all so it's basically you just lost the ability unless you just don't use this entire sleeve or I guess you could cut out a little area too. Uh, but it'd be kind of hard to measure out exactly where you need to cut. And then back to this window, um, I'm not too thrilled on the window either. If you have flat switches on your lens, uh, like this uh, focus limiter and the stabilization mode and my focus preset, they're all flat switches and they are virtually impossible to flip when you have the plastic window over them. Um, these switches like the autofocus, manual focus and the stabilizer switch, those have a raised bump to them and you can get some traction under the window. So those aren't a big deal. But with the flat switches, what I did was I took an X-Acto knife and I cut a little area for uh, the important ones. And uh, so now it's no problem, it's like normal. Except for the X-Acto knife isn't the cleanest solution. And as you can see, it's already kind of falling apart. So I think what I'm gonna have to eventually do is just cut off the entire window. So that's kind of a bummer to see, and I'm not sure if there's uh, really a solution for it. And then the last downside I can think of, since I seem to be on a roll with that, uh, by the locking knob on the lens hood, the fabric is getting a little wrinkled there. And I'm not sure if that's because the amount of stretching has to do to fit over the locking knob, but it's something to look out for. So the benefits are pretty obvious and they do hold true. Uh, you got some bump protection, you got scrape protection, you got some level of water protection, and it does have a thermal barrier, so your lens is never gonna get too hot or too cold to the touch. And then there's the camouflage, which I'm sure is the main selling point for a lot of you. Uh, this is the Realtree Max 5, which I think looks great. It matches almost anywhere I go. 
They also have the Realtree Max 4, uh, the Realtree AP Snow. They have digital camo. They also have a uh, more generic camouflage pattern. They have black, and then they also have uh, an off-white for these Canon lenses, or like a Canon white, so you can maintain your status on the sidelines. So if you have a brand new lens, I think it makes a lot of sense to get one of these lens covers for it. It's gonna survive a lot more scrapes and bumps before anything becomes visible to it. And you know if you uh, resell it in the future, it's gonna look a lot nicer and you're probably gonna get a lot more money for it. Uh, you just know those buyers are gonna see the scrapes and you're gonna, they're gonna assume that the inside is just as ugly, um, even though you know you took generally good care of your lenses. And if you have an older lens like this, that's probably on its sixth owner by now, um, I think uh, if you buy it for the camouflage, you're not going to be let down either. And I love this print. It looks great. And without it, I just got this big blinding white lens, which depending on what I'm trying to photograph is not ideal at all. So um, overall, I'm happy with uh, this lens coat lens cover. And uh, if you want to check one out too, I have links in the description below for a bunch of uh, different Amazon searches that will get you in the right direction. All right, everyone, I'm dying to go shoot right now. So hopefully this video puts you in the right direction. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the like button and please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. I am at over 200 right now and <laughs> you guys are awesome. But there's a Northern Harrier right behind the camera and I've been trying to photograph one for a long time.